a former healer I used to deal with um, quite often, but I found that all of the light work that we've done, um, some of it was being reversed. Anyway, what I want to say is just be aware when we're turning around and saying something like a beings or spiritual beings or love and light beings or who do they serve? Does the most high God serve you? Does the divine serve you? Does your spiritual team serve you? Does your ancestors, are they the ones that serve you? Because, I mean, think about it. Who you're actually asking to do your bidding for you and are they for your miracles? Are the love and light beings for your miracles or are they for someone else's? Like, love and light to everyone, definitely. All of this work, I went through it and I ask only my spiritual team, my ancestors, the divine that works for my miracles, that has my and my families and my, the people in my life and the world and everybody in the world. Like really, when I do healings, I do healings, I start here and then I build it outwards until we've got the whole universe covered. And the power that came back to me was like incredible. There are some people that you know, will only do good things. And there are other people that will be sinister or sneaky or, yeah, I just felt there was a lot of deception. So just be aware of who are you actually asking to do your work for you, you know? Who are you calling in to say, if you're calling in a deity, what makes you believe that they are for you? You know, and that's a genuine question. I know that I had a deity sent to me to attack me that was for me. If you guys notice, or maybe it's just me, but the energies on earth since 2020 have really been supporting. It's here that I've really been coming into um, contact with intergalactic lifetimes, like planetary lifetimes, primordial force, yeah, check out my clip from the full moon. She is primordial chaos. And a lot of us light beings out there at the moment are getting chaos energy sent to us on the regular. Yeah. Anyway, what was under the moon? No longer does the man in the moon smile at me. No, nor does he frown. Nor does he even exist. If you're ever told to look at the man in the moon, you might want to reconsider who said that to you and why they said that to you and what was the point of it because there is a casting like it's a enchantment i never believed in all this enchantment stuff like i thought i watched disney movies and was just like ah she's got to steal her voice <laughs> if she um you know but shit man yeah yeah, we live in quite a magical world, which is freaking awesome, especially if you're only going to use it for goodness. But if um, we live in a magical world and we live in a world of duality, we've got to be aware of what else is out there. That's all I'm saying. We're also living in a world where people feed off your depression, people feed off your sadness. Unless I'm doing my shadow work, like I won't, I won't sit there in depression energy. I'm not sad to be here. I had some girls say to me, you're happy to be here? And then, oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, the hatred, the hatred was real. But whatever, you know, each to their own. I do believe that we all sign contracts and people like that come against you in life to level you up. Like we can say, oh, this happened to me or this happened to me and this stopped me from being anything. Diamonds are made under pressure. And if we turn around and say, because of this, because of that, because of that, because of that, I'm on fire. Because of that, I can achieve anything. Because that person did that to me. I learnt this. And it was fucked, yeah. We can let whatever we want hold us back. A couple of years ago, what, well, I was put out to the poverty line oh i'll never be anything never be able to do anything i've got to be so worried about my life i wasn't worried i was actually getting better and better each day